Hello everyone, Android 15 has just officially came out. So let's go and take a look at it on the Pixel 7 and presumably the Pixel 7 Pro and see how it kind of holds up. Now, these updates were around 2 point something gigabytes. So this is the first beta. So there's going to be a lot more betas that are going to be coming out in the future. So just keep that in mind. There's, this beta is not going you know, anywhere anytime soon. It's still going to be here for a little bit of time, but that's totally fine. I love having these types of betas on our devices. And I will tell you for the most part, as of right now, this first beta is looking quite promising. There are lots of cool little things associated within this beta, which is actually pretty cool. And we'll talk about that throughout this video. Now, the one thing that I always like showcasing within these betas is basically what this particular, you know, splash screen looks like. So for now, it's still looking like for me personally, it's still on vanilla ice cream. So that's the name of this version of Android. It seems kind of cool. I mean, definitely there's going to be some improvements in the future, but as of right now, that's kind of what we're seeing. And, you know, definitely in the future, it's going to probably change. But as you can see, that's kind of what it looks like right now, and it's kind of funny. So when you still hold this down, it still gives us this type of splash screen and layout. So it's still pretty cool. I guess we'll see what happens in the future. But the first update and the first change is now the ability of actually having partial, basically we have like partial screen sharing on our particular Android phone. So it's actually very cool. So if you're inside of a Google Meet or something like that, you'll now have partial screen sharing, which is something that a lot of people reported on, including Android Authority, which is where I'm reading this. Also on top of that, there's this new like notification cooldown thing, which was actually very cool. It's a little bit of an improvement, I would say, from do not disturb mode. And I guess if you're getting lots of notifications and stuff like that, you can go ahead and basically just enable notification cooldown, which will essentially go ahead and just kind of cool down your notifications and it will like still leave notifications to come through, but it will just cool them down. Now, I don't even know how to enable that particular feature, but it is here somewhere. So that's another cool thing going on with this particular device. On top of that, there are some new in-app camera controls, which is actually genuinely very awesome. So all Pixels or all Android 15, Android 15 phones should be able to have this feature. So what it, basically what it does, it just you know allows you to have a little bit more brightness control. So you can boost brightness, adjust your brightness further a little bit there too. So it is another really cool thing that you have. And you've had this type of capability before. It's just a little bit more enhanced within this particular you know, toggle, which is really, really cool. On top of that, we have this new feature for our keyboards, which basically allows us to enable our vibration controls right within our keyboard. So this is really cool and it's universal. So whatever keyboard you basically have, you'll basically be able to do this, which again, I think is very cool. So if you hold down the keyboard right here, you should be able to get into some panel that will show you some like keyboard stuff that you can kind of modify. You can always kind of modify and edit that within here. Or I think it's also within your settings application. So if you go back into settings and you go back into sounds and vibration, you should be able to see that toggle somewhere here. And that's another cool thing that you can kind of modify. But again, you're going to have to, you know, enable that within your keyboard settings. So keyboard vibrations right here, which you have to do. I mean, you do have to kind of keep in mind that's, you know, on Android 15 and a lot more UI changes and things like that will end up coming up very, very soon. This is just the first beta. So it's definitely going to take some time for it to officially kind of, you know, reach the masses in a way. On top of that, if you click on the Bluetooth toggle, you'll now have this new little Bluetooth toggle that's a little bit more enhanced and a little bit better than the previous one. So that's going to be a little bit of a more focused point. I think Android 15 is going to really be focusing in on these particular features like this, which is really important. And you're also going to be getting community features on foldables. So there's going to be a lot more improvements, I, I would say, there. Another thing that's going to be happening within our Android 15 devices is that on their you know screens, on their main screens, for cover screens, if you have a case that has a cover screen, it's going to be a little bit more sensitive and it's not necessarily going to go through and just like, you know, just open up the display and like, you know, randomly tap on, you know, things on your display of your phone. I think it's going to be a little bit more enhanced and better from that particular perspective too, which is another really cool thing going on for this version of Android. So there's lots of cool little improvements. I'm very excited for it. And I genuinely can't wait for these improvements to come out, you know, on the official version of Android. Don't install Android 15 yet, but maybe soon you can install it. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well done.